we and are. we're off. Yes. We're off. Hello, folks. Hey, guys. How's it going? What's up? What's up? What's up? You having a good time? You having a good time? Hopefully, they are. Hopefully, they are. Let's see if they say hello. 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 Yes. How are you doing? Hey, Jake. Good stuff. Yes. Cool. So, um, hey, what's up? Hey, Hello, Tenebri. Tenebri, Aki, Indigo Soul, Ashix, Jake Estrella, Wolfie, Mistress Mjolnir. Mjolnir. <laughs> How's tricks? Mm. So, anyway, uh, today we're going to be picking it back up with Pontus's um, good old fashioned save game. Save game. Yes. Go out there, see what we see. I mean, obviously, last few ones we've been targeting those rivals, but. Uh, this is your save game, which you haven't played since the Rivals update, so yeah, you might get some yeah. pop in as you're playing. Hopefully, um, we'll see. As you can see, the farmland region is uh, level one, score zero, active rival zero, because I had all this awesome save game fresh. that Francis made for us. Nice. Um, so we'll see if we can spawn something, but first of all, I'm going to the... Get your mission on. Yes. So we'll see. I think it's the, uh, the Sorkin. Yeah, it's the Sorkin. Yes. Um... There's a hedgehog on your shoulder. No, it's not a hedgehog. <laughs> what could it be? Where did that come from? <laughs> Who's that? It's it's a bear. <laughs> it's a bear, in fact. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know why there's a bear on my shoulder, but uh, yeah. Uh, managed to sneak his way in here, I yeah. guess. You know those pesky bears. Yeah, oof. always up. sneaking around, just yeah. like I'm going to do. Yeah, never know quite what they're all about. Nah. One day we'll know, maybe. Immediate rude question. That's not a rude question, Slim. That's a pretty fine question. You should see some of the rude questions we actually get as <laughs> community developers sometimes. Um, will there be any more experimental weapons or new weapons at all? Of course, yes. I mean, um, experimental weapons, nothing to comment yet. It's a brand new feature. But new weapons in general, I mean, absolutely. Um, more things to shoot things with makes a lot of sense. So I think uh, with enough time, we'll be adding more of those. Let F the Björnen, indeed. <laughs> Will there be a fix to the disappointing ending? That doesn't really sound something that you can fix there, Wooski. That's more of like a, a personal opinion thing. Yeah. Um, so maybe elaborate and say what you personally would like to see. I mean, it's not a bug, put it that way. So it's not something you fix, per se. <laughs> I want some modern bow or something. I love bows. I agree with you, Skork. I am a, a compound archer myself. IRL, so I would love some bows in the game. And you found the bear, you did indeed. That was what that whole thing was all about, by yeah. the way. It was this, I got a soft toy and I was like, how do I get this into the stream somehow? And yeah, that was it. So well done, you found the bear. Yes. Yes. No, that's not it. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I must say, I was quite impressed though with, uh, with the effort everyone put in mm. and uh, how they managed to solve it fairly quick. Yes, yes, yes. Discord absolutely went nuts. If you're not on Discord, you should be. Yeah, go there. Do it. Exclamation in Discord in Twitch and it will tell you where to go. Uh, Omnipotus. Hey, devs. I made this account today just to ask a couple of questions. Like the commitment. Uh, first one, Tiller. Love the game and a clock to a few hundred hours having an absolute blast. Awesome. Um, will there be any news today? Um, let me check BBC. What's going on in the world? Hmm. Um, no new news here, at least. But you might want to keep an eye on our social media channels a little bit later to see if anything else interesting might appear today. Early sneak Yeah, peak. I think they could always see the VOD. Uh, 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 uh. Plans for weapons, random stats, RPG style. Um, it's something that I've, I've mentioned here internally that I thought would be quite fun and a good idea. But that would very much change the style of the game. Uh, that would make us a kind of, you know, looter-shooter type thing. And that's probably not the direction we're intending to go in. Never say never. We'll see. So, will it float? Like an ending cutscene, Wooski, I see. Well, the issue we have as a uh, small team um, and a self-developed project here is cutscenes, FMVs, that type of thing, they are huge budget articles, as in they are really expensive to put together. And it's kind of out the scope that we had in mind. Um, you know, it's something we could potentially look at in the future. Um, 
but at the point of us developing Drift Zero, it, it was a lot of money to lay out on a video that someone's going to watch for a few seconds. So, you know, it's the kind of thing you have to think about as a, as a smaller project to think about where you spend that time and the monies. So the first time I actually want to meet the machine, there's none around. But oh, there we go. It's a tick. Uh, give us a Magnus with gyro jets for ammo. Zestio, I actually watched a video with those the other day. Those things are interesting. You don't consider the Gen Zero looter shooter? Um, not to that extent, at least. Um, I say it's a sneaky kind of shooterish. Unless Pontus is playing, and it becomes Quake. <laughs> 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 oh, it's not though. <sighs> but I do need to find those key cards, wherever they might be. I saw that get the guy who made the special account to talk to us. He said hello, and I haven't seen any more messages from him since. So sorry if I didn't miss the question. I'm eager to answer your question if you create an account, especially to come say hi. But I didn't see your follow up. So if uh, if I missed it, do post it again. <coughs> having a great time the games has picked up last week snuck across the map to start farming better gear been a while since i was that stressed <laughs> good times good stress yes glad to uh, glad to hear you enjoying it coco and uh, welcome to the the generation zero community thanks for dropping in oh here comes omnipotence again uh we hear that some guns are more quiet than others do machines also hear the difference or is the alert in the same per gun class um obviously things like suppressors have an effect uh regarding gun classes that's something I haven't specifically tested myself. I w I'll get an answer for that for you, Omniftus. I would like to say that there is a difference between them. Um, but I don't want to make a hard yes or no because I'm not 110% certain. So um, I'll come back to you next week with that. Is this a co-op game online? Mazamad, you can play it offline single player if you like. Or you can play it co-op with up to three other people. Pop some tanks, Pontus. Yeah... What I'm trying to do. Nice. Not nice. <laughs> 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 Is it nice having a backseat driver who's commentating on your gameplay? Yeah, but. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Uh. Any of the smaller houses or bigger buildings and cities ever going to be enterable? Nearer off, um, I think as time goes on, we'd definitely like to kind of react to the feedback from you folks in a lot of respects. Some of you have said you'd like to be able to open those buildings. Others have said they'd like to see more variety in the buildings themselves. So that's definitely something we have sort of half an hour on looking at. Oh, did I leave the region? No, I didn't. All right, maybe. I know, right, CL. I know. <laughs> I don't like the silences either. <laughs> no, it's a suppressor, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Any chance the game going on sale on Steam? I already own it for be Xbox, but I've been playing on PC lately. We've only just come out of yeah. a back-to-back -back sale period on Steam. Too bad, buddy. See, see what happens over you know Black Friday and Christmas. Perhaps something will pop up then, but... As of now, you've just come into a, off the back of a big sale there, so um, nothing in the immediate term, at least. Will inventory be fixed anytime soon? Inventory is something we definitely want to look at at some point. Yes, indeed. It's hard to see these. When you do like the whole this, arrows up, arrows up, it's always tricky to guess which one that is, because Twitch tends to come in very, <laughs> very quick. Um, I already covered stuff about buildings and interiors. Uh, 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 uh. Gas mask we can wear seems to have no effect on damage we take from environmental sources. It does, though. Um, yeah. If you are wearing it, you'll notice your health will not continue to drop past a certain point, and it will slow down the decay of your health to some extent. It's not meant to be a, a sort of magic face mask, because uh, in real life, gas, it's not just about going in your face. It's um, skin contact, all sorts of nasty stuff. It's meant to mitigate things, but it's not a sort of silver bullet, as it were. Will there be an update on Christmas? As in, you want to buff Christmas? <laughs> buff Christmas, please. I need yeah. more presents. Yes. <laughs> Come on. Um, well, well, we'll be sharing more information about that as it's closer. Obviously, we're looking at a November update right now. Uh, but we'll see, we'll see what happens. Sort options for plunder. Yes, see how you ask that every week. And we say yes, that's something that we will look into. 
Um, was contact a hint at what's coming in next update or an update after that? Tenebri, you'll have to wait and see, buddy. Again, we'll be showing some stuff this, this afternoon after the stream, which will start to tie up the dots a little bit for you. Alright, finally I can go into the... Will you tell us about bears today? Well, if uh, if you missed the start of the stream... Oh, where did it go? We found, we found the bear. Hello, I'm a Jeezy bear. <laughs> 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 um, Maybe that should be the new thing. Now you want off-road skateboards, Xiao. Okay, we're getting specific now. <laughs> uh, Raud Swag, um, no comment on that DLC just yet. We're thinking about where to go with that. We'll absolutely let you know um, when we have news on that. More DACA incoming. We just gave you tons of DACA with these experimental weapons. If if you have you ever played Warhammer 40k or anything like that? I didn't. It, it's a 40kism. The orcs like to DACA DACA with their guns. Uh, well um, right, right. Yeah, because I started to wonder about that. Yeah. <laughs> um, we'll see. Potential for DACA is going to be high in this kind of game. I mean, of course, more weaponry of various different types is something we'd like to investigate as time goes on. Uh, uh -oh. Has Team Mail thought about bringing sandbox elements like making the safe house a base with displays for guns and collectibles and utility like an ammo press? Have we ever thought about it? Yes. Can we talk about it right now? No. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I hate to be so, uh, you know, so much for tease of information, but um, we're very much of the mind that we prefer to tell you things when we have sort of something really concrete and almost ready to go rather than to make a big song and dance about something that may or may not then get delayed in development. We're very much of the, of the uh, ethos that we'd rather you get pleasantly be surprised by something nice than be disappointed if our realities of development mean that our release doesn't come when you want it to, if you get me. <laughs> I'd love to see you do a big song and dance now. Would you? Yeah. Karaoke, Christmas party, let's make it happen. <laughs> uh, can you add a button for quick take all? I've passed on that feedback. Absolutely, Ms. Egg, the team knows. Graham, since when do you have a moustache beard? Um, you haven't tuned in for a while, have yeah, you? Yeah, it's been a uh, month. <laughs> it's been like a now, month, right? I guess. No more. It took me six months to grow it. <laughs> mm. Yeah, a couple of months, I guess. Dual wielding pistols. Mm. That's quite fun. Uh -oh. Free cam mode in the world with no machines. Yeah, that'd be pretty nice. You could just enjoy the. Enjoy the pretty world. Oh wow, that that yeah. texture needs to be uh, looked at I there. Or the hitbox. That's like trying to play. Was it Rufy's Bridge on or Modern Warfare? That, that was frustrating for me. <laughs> <laughs> Shooting invisible dirt. I'll actually pass that clip to the team to take a peek at. Is the fresh start options coming any soon? Nothing I can comment right now. Summoned 88, but it's absolutely something I told the team. Mr. Big Wig, Graham War when GC came out. I am the Big Wig. <laughs> <laughs> it's now a part of me. I've absorbed it into my chin. I repurposed it. Made any no shave November promises? See, November really never made sense for me because it would take me an entire month to grow anything worth showing anyway. So, uh, yeah, that, that's that's kind of a, a thing that I can't really get that involved in. <laughs> yeah, me neither. It's too bad though. Uh, Wolfie, if you want to report a glitch or a duping glitch, don't tell everybody how you do it. <laughs> That's only going to make it get worse. Um, but we are aware of that one, and it will be fixed. Alright. Need some more ammunition. Yeah, if you, if you know of exploits, bugs... Um, exp and uh, GP type stuff, it's always best to send us a message on email or something along the likes rather than sticking it out there publicly because otherwise the behavior that you don't like is only going to happen even more because people are naughty cheaters. <laughs> well, some are. Can I please get some Magnus ammo? Oh, this is nice, I guess. But I need my Magnus. 
More Magnus for the Pontus. Yes. Out of curiosity, how long did the map take to develop? Um, I mean, it was obviously a process. We have a mixture of, you know, procedurally generated stuff and then hand-placed assets. As far as the start to finish timeline, I mean, it obviously was... I mean, it's the basis of the game in a lot of respects. So it's something that was kind of formed from the start development and still, in a lot of respects, is being modified now in a lot of cases. So that's a tough question to answer. <laughs> a long time. <laughs> Uh, science deduction is bugged. I made a report on the forum but got no response. Justice. Uh, first up, if you didn't get a response, it does not mean we didn't see it. Apologies for that. We j I just, I'm a one-man band for a lot of the time when it comes to sort of replying things in the community. So in a lot of cases, I have to read more than I have time to reply. Otherwise, I would just never get anything done and then none of the reports would be dealt with. <laughs> so the fact that I didn't reply to you does not mean it wasn't read. We have myself and our QA team are reading the forums daily. And that is something that we do are aware of and we will look at. Yes. Can you tell us about the Morse code, says Jake Estrella. I already covered that a minute ago, twice. Yeah. You were here, in fact. You were here <laughs> at the start, Jake. I <laughs> saw your name. Uh, yeah, we will attention. not be saying anything more about this mysterious message. Not now, at least, anyway. But there will be some stuff coming out on our Discord server and our social media channels after the stream if you're interested to hope to uh, maybe sort of put some of the pieces together a little bit. Mm. I like the HP5. Yeah, I already got it though in a better version. So let's not pick up that. that would be cool if during these streams you played co op? It would be. Um, I mean, the main benefit of this kind of setup is the fact that I can give you loads of attention in chat, and you don't come here to see mad gameplay skills. You come <laughs> here to <laughs> ask us questions. So this way, one of us can dedicate our time to talking to you, whereas if we do it both playing, it's always a bit weird trying to be awesome at both things at once. And I like to think that Pontus is trying his best to be awesome at the gameplay. And I'm incredibly awesome at just chatting rubbish for I'm an hour. I'm decent, so right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that bad. You're good, Pontus. Oh, right. thanks. Thanks. That's it's all it's I just, wanted It's to just hear. the bants. <laughs> 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 Did I put a suppressor on this one? Why would I even do that? I love the sound, so and I don't want to be sneaky. Mm? Sorry, guys, I'm a welder. I'm at work, so try and best articulate your questions. Do not operate welding equipment whilst watching Twitch. That sounds dangerous. <laughs> yeah, ooh. <laughs> um, which was the question? With the addition of rivals, it's for strategy to get a six star and a five star. Any chance of adjusting his drop rates? Yes, definitely. Drop rates on rival stuff is something that's. Um, We'll definitely keep an eye on. Um, of course, it's the first rendition of the feature that you guys have, so absolutely it makes sense that we would see how it, w how it was out in the wild and then adjust accordingly, for sure. I mean, it's quite hard for us to predict b player behavior in a lot of cases. I mean, you know, people doing the whole suicide farming technique and all kinds of cheesy str strategies. <laughs> um, so, yeah. In a lot of cases, for us as devs, we learn a lot by you guys playing it. So, um, absolutely, we can uh, look into that. Man, it's so hard to find your way around these bunkers. Jupe, you haven't asked a single rude question yet, buddy. Don't <laughs> worry, there are. <laughs> What's your guy's favorite element in the game? Uh, look at this. That is dark. Yeah, but everything about it, and and just the fact that I said it's so easy to get lost here, and yes. you know everything is just amazing. Yes. And like you have to think for a bit to actually understand this game. We want spoon feed you. Yes. So that I really love. For me, I think it's just the whole setting. I think 1980s Sweden over on the machines. I love everything about it. It's, it's you know, Sweden doesn't get the tension as uh, very frequently in video games. I mean, you know, how many games have you played set in Sweden? Not very many. They're all set in America somewhere or this, that and the other. So I, I think for me that's uh, super cool. Mullet needs to return. I don't know where my mullet went. <laughs> oh, no, there's I just have down to there. Let's put on that little mask. Yeah, now we can... Uh, Someone was clearly starved for attention and needs a hug, so uh, I will ban them. Seriously. Gas mask, yes. Go out, talk to normal people, and they're gone. There we go. Um... <coughs> How many times bigger is the map now compared to the beta last year's October? Well, the beta, you are only well, the map on the whole hasn't changed. It's still the same uh, map size. 
but the beta you're only able to play a small portion of it you locked that first island there so regarding um overall sort of area compared to the starter island probably you got 10 15 times more space let's say I that's not cool. You just got wrecked by a tick. Yeah. You need to be bird shotting that guy. There we go. Yeah, the thing is I I didn't bring my shotgun. I wanted to clear up some space um in my inventory. Uh -huh. And this is this my folks is why we do have these limitations on our inventory because it's about making these choices rather than just saying I can take everything. Be a one man army. It's not that kind of game. Oh, this gas is devastating. Uh oh. Mox says, thanks Graham Pontus and the whole team for all the hard work this year. It's been a wild ride for Mason Zero. Thanks, Mox. We're glad you appreciate it. I mean, yeah. you know, the team have been absolutely given it their all. And uh, some people, it's not been quick enough. And for us, it's not been quick enough, too. I mean, you know, we'd love to be able to do so much more on the time we have, but we like to think that in the time we have had, we've made some awesome, awesome progress. I mean, particularly seeing the, you know, the changes for us in the Steam reviews and things recently, that's been really awesome for the team to see. Yeah, because they put a lot of time into making this the fantastic game that it actually is. So yeah, they should get all the credit. Yes. Because they deserve it. Um, we deserve credit two pointers. We do. We're kind of cool, <laughs> nice guys, I guess. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we should get some credit too. <laughs> Everybody gets the credit. Yes. Um, I'm just refreshing chat, folks. Our restream chat seems to have locked up, so I would have missed any questions in the last 30 seconds or so. So feel free to repost in case I didn't see yours. All right. So I'm just getting pinged. Underground sewers to avoid machines in the future. That sounds awesome, Wolfie. Yeah, yeah like underground network you can kind of use to avoid the machines on the top. And that would be very fitting with, you know, the whole um, sort of tone theme we want of Generation Zero, where super, it is about... super avoid. scary, though, walking around there in complete darkness. You never mm. know what's going to... Kind of like the bunkers, but I d think in a more... More I grimy, grotty kind of yeah, way. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Not the, you know, this fancy kind of doors and stuff. I'd love a community event where I could play with you guys. I mean, we've done multiplayer in the past. But that's pr probably something we can think about again in the future. I'd love to play with him. What's his name? Can you add a Twitch command that links to support slash bug reporting? Yeah, we can look at that, Mizerg. Did you forget to read the note on the power switch? Yeah, I did. Uh, I saw Staffan was on the ball. I haven't been paying attention to what you've been doing. I've been talking to these people over here. So but <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see. Now I'm going to die probably uh, because you I can't find my way here. Uh, I guess my screen is Ooh. on. Thanks. Yeah, because I, I, I thought it was a note. Then I was like, hmm. I only pressed the button and then I went away. But here it is. There we go. Yeah, read. I mean, it even has a big red seal on it. That <laughs> Swedish accent is superb. <laughs> Who? What? Well, I am from Sweden. <laughs> <laughs> from Sweden? <laughs> Inga from Sweden. Will we ride polar bears to work? Man, and now I'm all lost again. Come hey, Steampunk. Welcome, welcome. What are the next gameplay update plans? You're going to hear about those quite soon. Not today, but very, very soon. Right, let's see. And it's going to be awesome. Awesome mist. Awesome mist so far, I would say. Any plans for FOA 2 you can discuss? I'm afraid not Indigo Soul. Again, we're never, we, you'll never get any secrets out of us. Not until we're ready to talk about things, I'm sorry to say. But it is good for us to know that you're interested in knowing. Get some signs in the bunks of navigation. Actually, uh, Rautzweg, we I presume that's how you pronounce it. Is that Danish? Or, um, that's something that we've had internal discussions about. You know, if you think about when you played Half-Life 2, in like the science offices, you had those kind of color-coded walls which took you to different areas. Something like that, I think, would be a pretty neat system. Or, you know, like a breadcrumb consumable you can drop behind you. <laughs> 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 
Can I ask the ability to add notes to map? Yeah, that'd be pretty useful. How do I get experimental guns? Jennifer, you need to look for the rivals on your map. Rivals will appear just by playing the game. Um, as you destroy machines, they'll react by spawning a rival machine, which is bigger, stronger, tougher than the others, and they have a chance of dropping experimental weapons. Um, these rivals will continue to level up if you continue killing machines or if you die. Um, the higher the level of the rival, the better the chance of an experimental weapon dropping. Your opinion on the new Sonic and Death Stranding? I do not have an opinion <laughs> <laughs> on either, to be honest. <laughs> not, neither appeal to me, personally. Well, I love to play the, the old Sonic game, but oh yeah, the old Sonic for them game, to but make the movie, a yeah. movie out of it, uh, I'm not so sure. I'm glad they changed uh, the way he looked, though, because that was just, you know, nah. Thank you. Ever thought about Horde mode, defending a safe house against wave machines? <laughs> Good idea. Good yeah, idea. Why not? Auto aim snapping to machine components a feature or a bug can be really annoying. It is a feature, but we've definitely been taking feedback about it, so we'll see you know, where that goes. Whew, that's starting to get your aim in now. Yeah. Let's all right. Maybe go there later. Check this out. Getting some backseat gaming in Twitch now. Pontus, please remove the gas mask. <laughs> yeah, all right. For uh, <laughs> for visuals, I'll do that. I also had really, really nice uh, shades on. So mm -hmm. not those though. Look at these. Nah, maybe. Arr, the pirate. There we go. Pontus, the pirate king. Oh, talking about pirates. Just uh, games in general. My absolutely favorite game almost of all times, can you guess? It's pirate themed. Monkey Island? Oh yeah, you got it. Nice run. No. A pirate I was meant to be. <laughs> <laughs> Def Driver asked about sort function in Plunder. I commented on that earlier in the stream. We're definitely looking at feedback about how we can improve inventory in the future. <laughs> Norpal, yes, the Morse code was deciphered. You can check on our Discord or on the YouTube comments the original video and you'll see that folks have been talking about it there. If I have the salvage perk, do I have a better chance to get experimental weapons to kill? I do not believe so, Jake. No. Captain Linz Lindqvist? Yes. This is interesting though, because I just uh, scooted by uh, a downed airplane the mm -hmm. other day. Now I know why. Interesting. Did not end well for them. No, poor fellas. Alright, let's see. Uh, did I actually track? Refueling. Yes, I did. Right, let's try to sneak our way over here then. I hope you make all the lamps destroyable at some point. What? what do you not like lights? <laughs> What's the problem? Why the, why the lamp hate? Oh, um, I got a skill point. Nice. Yeah, good feedback. Hmm, where to put that? This is the question. Um, Armor. Will there be incendiary grenades or Molotov cocktails? Um, I can't say a hard yes or no to that. I mean, again, we don't announce things until we're ready to announce things, but I can say that's a great idea. Love this game, says Charlie Gustafsson on uh, YouTube. Thanks, Charlie. Yes. Mm, this is the wrong way. Would it be technically possible to have an eight-player map with both PvE and PvP elements? Sorry, Mox. Uh, PvP is not, not a thing for us uh, in this game, at least. Um, it's it's not the direction we want GZ to go in, it's PvP, I'm sorry to say. Have you guys had any Yulmus yet? Yes, I did, actually. I actually I quaffed my first live on stream, on my my private stream, actually. That was... Uh, oh, I love so Yulmus. It's my favourite thing about Sweden, I swear. It's super good. And, of course, Poskmus, because it's just the same thing with a different label. I don't drink soda anymore, though. Yeah, but Yulmus, it's it's not like soda. It's like a no, magical... It's, a, it's like adult elixir. soda. Without... Yeah. Alcohol, so those of you who don't know what Yulmust is, it's a drink that um, is drunk in Sweden around the Christmas period. It's for Brits. It, it reminds me of dandelion and burdock drinks. Uh, but it's kind of like a spicy, soda-y type thing, and it's amazing. I w uh, interesting factoid, apparently Sweden is one of the few countries in the world where Coca-Cola makes it has a drop in sales yeah. during the Christmas period. Yeah, Because people are like, nope, don't want that Coke, I want Yulmust. 
Can we have an achievement to shoot all the TVs? I think I've completed it already. There's someone off my own heart, that's for sure. I know that I always shoot every TV I come across. It's just so satisfying, the, the pop and the, yeah. I, I recognize that achievement from another old game, though. Uh, Rautweg mentioned a wrench in the works is something we're looking into. What does the video that you put out yesterday mean? That is the question, Duncan, isn't it? Um, again, oh, you got the pirate achievement pop up. Nice. I want to be a mighty pirate. Um, <laughs> we'll be keep an eye on our social media channels. Um, we'll start putting together the pieces about that video very soon. In fact, tonight there will be something coming out. So. Exciting. Uh oh, oh no. Half of Australia is on fire now, the other half is cold. How is weather? It's cold and wet and very, very dark. It yeah, starts getting dark at about 3 pm in the afternoon, so it's miserable. <laughs> yeah, it's been raining a lot. That's not Yeah, really it fun, has, though. which you know makes the light situation even worse yeah. because you know it's not exactly bright at the best of times. And then you add the clouds. Get that nice Russian feel over it. Will a detailed roadmap of development and the future of GZ be eventually presented to the community? Uh, summoned, I've been having discussions internally about that. I would like to see some form of roadmap for you folks. The main issue we've had up to now is that we put a lot of, um, a lot of thought into reacting to your feedback. And for a developer to react to feedback that quickly, or that in depth, let's say, you can't do that and follow a roadmap because a roadmap kind of suggests that we've already decided we're doing these things. Whereas up until now, we've been very much sort of trying to get our finger on the pulse and react quickly to sort of the gaps or improvement areas that we we see. Uh, as things have sort of settled down a bit now, and we've got the the biggest bug fixing parts behind us and a lot of the quality of life stuff that came from initial feedback, perhaps we can start to think bigger picture now and you know on a longer term. In which case, we will start to see things like a roadmap popping up hopefully. Give more thought to the Husqvarna chainsaws. It'll be Did fun. Did I just hear a chainsaw? That would be so awesome. Chainsawing machines. Although I'm not sure how good a chain would do against metal. It would get blunt quite but quickly. But it could be some kind of, I don't know, <laughs> special <laughs> chainsaw in a way. Oh, I would love to see that. <laughs> like some real <laughs> melee Man. kind of action. The fun with a chainsaw on. in Doom. Yeah. <laughs> oh. yeah, oh, I would love that. <laughs> I mean, the other issue with roadmaps as well, once you put a roadmap out, you're kind of making a promise. And again, you have that situation where, as a dev team, if we have a delay come up or we see another thing that's perhaps potentially a lot more important than we addressed before, you start to delay that roadmap and then that promise is turned into a lie. And, you know, video game communities don't tend to be very very uh, nice about that type of thing. <laughs> so we'd rather not back ourselves into a corner. We'd like to leave ourselves a little bit of space to react to what you folks want as quick as we can. Uh, but again, perhaps we'll uh, think about uh, changing it up a bit now. We're getting our feet under us a lot more. Is Swedish language easy to learn? So I haven't lived in the UK since 2006. Uh, after that, I moved to France and then I moved to Sweden. And I would say that I definitely picked up Swedish a lot faster than I did French, that's for sure. Yeah, I think I learned it at a pretty young age. Mm -hmm. Can you please say hi to my son Emil, who is sitting next to me? Hey, hey Emil! Emil. <laughs> <laughs> um, add a greater variety of buildings to enter explore. Nessa B, I covered that one at the start of the stream. It's definitely something that we'd like to be able to look at. Again, we're a small team, so filling out a world of this size with unique handcrafted uh, assets. We don't have a team of, you know, 200 artists to do that. So we did have to kind of do what we was in our our bandwidth to do initially. But definitely over time, it's something we could consider uh, sort of readdressing or, yeah. Any discussion internally about next-gen systems and Gen Zero's development? Um, Gen Zero will run on them. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's all we have to say on that right now. Asking someone who's at work, will the Blockbuster Vanity Pack ever be added? Uh, Blockbuster is definitely something we're thinking about, Kongs, and we'll let you know as soon as we have news. I answered that on our own stream too, so it's definitely uh, on our mind. What do you think about a 60-person survival PvP game mode? I think they're super fun, but not in Generation Zero, I'm sorry to say. PvP is 
you know, our game is not a PvP game, and we don't see it going in that direction, I'm afraid. Oh, no. How big is your team? About that big? Depends how big the photo is, I guess. <laughs> I'm mad with the dad jokes today. I'm so sorry. Um, <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> uh, we're around 30. S fall damage is really high for small falls like stairs and hills. I meant to be like that. Um, Venice is intended for now, but of course, we're always happy to hear your feedback. Um, in real life, if you were to jump off, you know, 10 steps, you'd probably risk a twisted ankle at least. So, <laughs> uh, But yeah, we're definitely taking attention to feedback. No worries, Reptilia. I know folks come in at different stages of the stream, so it's easy to... It's easy to miss things, so I'm pretty pretty cool with repeating myself here and there. No worries at all. <coughs> Love the dad joke. Okay, more dad jokes for the people. Hoping to move to Sweden in the next couple of years. Speak German. I find similarities between it and what I picked up in Swedish so far. Yeah, I would say that like Germanic languages. They're it, pretty it makes, similar in yeah, ways. Yeah. I have to learn German at school, which you know also gave me a little bit of a helping hand with Sweden. It was kind of genius, really. At school, we had the option of learning German, French, or Spanish. And I learned German and then moved to France to live for, like, five years. So that was dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the mullet? I don't know. If someone finds it, please return it to me. <laughs> yeah, that's indeed uh, pagan. That's the thing. I mean, there's so many PvP games out there. We just simply are not one. Um, yeah. Hi, Major TV. I'm Graham. Hello, Hungry. Uh, I completely failed that one. <laughs> Hello, Hungry. I'm Graham. But it doesn't make sense because you need to be able to read out what he said for me to respond to it. Which just it messes up the whole dad joke flow. <sighs> exactly. Hi, Hungry. I'm Graham was what I should have said. But I need to be able to incorporate his, his original. Yeah. Can you add a keyboard key for take all Apex Imperium? Again, that was just earlier in the stream. And that's something that we've been looking at feedback on. Uh, more choice in key bindings as well, while, I guess, while it's on the topic. Yeah, this wasn't that good. Have some nasty fellas behind me. Oh, I know what I'm gonna do. Hide behind a tree? Aha! <laughs> no, uh -huh. Oh, I so saw that coming. I was about to say, <laughs> every time I use those things, I end up running on them as I put them down. Yeah. And lo and behold, pro tip, stick down a firework or a flare first, keep them off you, set them down when it wears off. Boom. Oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> be nice, guys. Oh, it's all getting, e all getting explosive. Yeah, I need to hide. Um, mm. Come at this at a, maybe a bit more strategic approach. Oh, wow. I think this is the first time you've come up again. Oh, is that was that a harvester? Yes, it's a harvester. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, he's just he's just hide trying to be a bush. He'll never see me here. Um, well, if you haven't said anything, I would never would have seen him. Yeah, clever I harvester. Want to, um, this is not a good idea though. Any more outfit and moat DLC bundles in the future? I like them because most devs charge twenty dollars, but here it's five or less. Wolfie, uh, we'll we'll see what the future brings there. No, oh, I it was so close. It's a shame. Maybe we should add it so if they run over them, they get stuck. Though, really. Yeah, well, they're occupied anyway, so I can. Mm -hmm. You can at least uh, get away, get away hopefully. From them. Smashed it with the last update, lads. We'll be able to craft better traps and maybe a little camp. James, we're definitely thinking about all kinds of stuff. We'll, just, we'll say that much for now. That's a good answer. Yes. Right. What would you like Graham seeing in game? Um, me. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. Uh, crafting of some description for me. Uh, I, I love crafting stuff in games. I, I can fiddle around that kind of stuff for hours. So. Yeah, that is fun. What the harvest is harvest? People. No, you will see them often like stood on cars and that kind of thing. They're kind of sucking up in the fuel or recovering bits of machinery. Uh, 
Uh, will there ever be an option for having your character naked slash in underwear? Uh, highly unlikely. Bear in mind the story is that you're just coming back from a trip away in the archipelago. It's November in Sweden. Chances are you weren't away for a trip in your, with your friends naked in the middle of November. So it wouldn't make any sense. <laughs> Graham could cameo as a gym coach, the high white socks or the whistle. Excuse me, white white socks? No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, put my foot right in your face there, Pontus. Yeah, no worries. Take a breath. No, um, no white socks here. Oh no. Um, Omnipotus, we'd have to look at that, buddy. Uh, it's not something that's been on our radar up till now, I don't think, but we can check. Uh, Nessa B asking about different sensitivities for ADS and uh, normal hip fire. Absolutely, that's feedback that's already been passed on. Bow with explosive tips. Yes, I, again, I'd love any kind of bow. Really a Rambo style. Yes. That would be nice. A Rambo. Oh, that's what it should be called, the Rambo. Yes. <sighs> Is there any connection to starting characters in Maniac Mansion? No, we just went with, uh, you know, typical kind of tropes from 80s pop culture was kind of our inspiration for the start characters. If you think about any 80s movie, like, you know, high school movies and stuff, there's always the jock, there's the, uh, and like the Greaser character, for example, is based on like Swedish regular people who, you know, they like to drive classic cars and that kind of stuff. Yes, the socks, best stream moment of 2019, nailed it. These are actually fat shark socks. Fat shark socks I'm wearing right now. Uh, it's another dev studio here in Stockholm. Kindly gave me a pair of socks at uh, TwitchCon. Uh -oh. Do you think six star weapon drop rate is too, too, too common? I would think so. I think, um, I know we, we want to look into that. A flare gun, that would be pretty neat, Renault. Yeah, give him a bit more distance when you work that. Um, right. A genuine trade feature? Um, that would definitely be cool. I mean, of course, you can rudimentarily do it by dropping things on the floor for now. So, as you can do it, it doesn't make sense for us to spend a ton of time over other things right now to add a pretty UI mm -hmm. to do it, put it that way. I think there's a lot of other things that we'd like to want to address before we adjust that, mainly due to the fact that, although it's not you know, super smooth and pretty, you can do it right now. Um, but yeah, potentially in the future, um, an easy trade UI would be nice. So this Got flechetted. super well. Um, I need to get away from them. Yes. Any, yeah, I think our chat just froze again, folks. Oh no, here we go, it's just loaded. Oh no, there's more over there. Just missing the 80 slasher character. Well, you know, if you picked up your stuff during the Halloween event, you would have got some good mm -hmm. goodies from that respect. Yeah, I'm sorry, I, d I missed like, the last 30 seconds of chat there, folks. Uh, our chat window's misbehaving again. That's good feedback, KHMS Invincible, saying about fire modes for the experimental shotgun and the Grenade Gewehr. Grenade Gewehr. So Still coming. You could yes. always just yeet a flare and run off in the other direction. Yeah, that's what I tried to Oh, you to did? Do. Okay. It looks well, good like this. they're not... Not called hunters for nothing. Oh my yeah. god, that's a, that was like a quadruple negative in that sentence. <laughs> uh, not not called hunters, triple negative. All right, I need to refresh this window thing. It's oh, it's doing god, weird stuff. Sorry, it. folks. Oh no, man! I really walked into hornet's nest. Come on, Leroy, you can do this.
Can we get Sus Thurming to counter robot gas attacks? Become immune after eating it. <laughs> uh. More tanks with the linear accelerator and the wild would be interesting. Mm. <laughs> Since we have Generation Zero, can the sequel be called OK Boomer? <laughs> I'm not down with casual ageism. We cannot define people by when they were born. Uh, <laughs> but it's a funny meme. Oh no, oh no. Mm -mm. Come on. No! I don't want to die. Can you say anything about the next update? Not right now, Gunnar, but uh, you'll be hearing about that quite soon. You got gravitated. Oh. No, they're alive in here. Oh! <laughs> Just turned around to a face full of Hunter. <sighs> what about trying to get away and then uh, crouching and trying to. I was hoping to get melt into, the, into bunker the terrain. And, and be yeah, safe I, I get there. the game plan there. <sighs> if you that get if you get far enough away, you should hopefully be able to stealth your way out of it. That gave me a heart attack. Oof. And this music just yeah, it, it keep get the blood up. It's still coming. Oh, I get a heart rate of two hundred. All right, let's. Try to hide in this house. Hopefully, they will forget about me. Probably not, but we'll see. If I'm really super lucky. A crouch! Hide! Oh, is that health pack that? No. Oh, thanks. Delish. That I really needed. Right here, alright. Take a look. Oh, so I got one health pack. Nice. I got, ooh, I got grenades. The smoke, I, I really start to like the smoke, actually. Mm. Definitely comes in useful. I mean, you're starting to see more advanced machines now, which means that some of them might have uh, sight modules that can get around the smoke, but otherwise, they're awesome. Oh, they seem to know where I am. Still. Is it going to be cross-play? Um, it would be cool. We'd like to see it there. It's more a question of you know, how much time it would take our small team to make it happen, and whether we think there would be a big enough benefit from it at this time in the game's development. We'll see, but, I mean, definitely we're open to that idea. You know, more more ways for more people to play with more other people is always going to be a good thing for us as devs. Okay, he's there. Pontus' last stand. Yeah, I feel like a little pickle in here. <laughs> you are a little pickle. <laughs> Oh, I can do the angry ticks. Alright, first we're gonna take the... No, I have two health. Nice. Tesla coil traps. Oh, they sound awesome. You know what? You're gonna rage quit, no? <laughs> 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 you know what? He opens the escape menu. It's, uh... It's too hard for me now. Time for revenge, I think. Oh, wow. Yeah. Hey, you think firing one of those in an enclosed space is a good idea? Or <laughs> Ah, sneaky from the balcony. Oh, I'm not gonna use it. <laughs> there it is. Oh, but he had his own one. <laughs> yeah. Right. Maybe let's. Red uh, laser means be afraid. Try one of those. Thank you. Had the other one too. Right, him. I think I can get with. Uh, uh questions about the challenger system. Uh, of course, it was quite a recent addition to the game. Um, chances are high we'd like to do more of that in the future. Right, I have one final thing we can use to actually s try to stay alive. Should be loaded up more of this. Damn, this this is tricky. Ex mm -hmm. Exactly how I like it. You quite literally backed yourself into a corner. Yeah, well, we'll see if I can get my way out of it. Yeah. Then. Ah. Yeah. We're, we're, we're confident in you. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. They blew over your hat stand. What the heck? 
Yeah, pro tip from chat, turn off the lights in the building, you can probably see outside of it better. Damn, we got such a smart community. We it's do. Insane. Will be more variants of robots to come. I think we'd like to see more variety, for sure. We want dev skins, we could be a Graham and Pontus. Although it sounds fine in theory, I would feel I would feel bad because the rest of our awesome devs wouldn't be represented. Of course, we're the ones you see in front of the camera, but there is a whole dev team right now hard at work working on the game. Yes. So I, I would feel a bit bad if it was myself and Pontus' <laughs> characters. <laughs> Seeing as, you know, we're just here to get the glory. Admittedly, we also we also get the, the bad stuff too, but <laughs> yeah. All right, that didn't turn out so well. Can't win them all. Right, hmm. Yeah, Dylan, I think you're right there, buddy. Normally Pontus is pretty good at cutting his way through them. Yeah, but that was... Um, mm. There were too many. I tried to run. I couldn't hide. Um, Retour instead of return? Yes, Nero, because we're playing on a Swedish keyboard right now. And Retour is return. Let's see if we have... Oh, no. Maybe hide a bit. See if we have anything close. Um. Uh -uh. Great respect for the dev team, says Raf Sakio. Well, thank you, thank you. When will we get skis? Skis would be awesome. Snowboard. But that was more of a 90s thing, wasn't it? I guess it was late 80s they first appeared. Uh, no. <laughs> Thanks for pronouncing my name right, you're most welcome. Will there be a car so you can hit and run robots? That's kind of exactly the reason why we didn't have a car to start with, to be honest. <laughs> I mean, you know, the World Generation Zero should feel threatening. It should feel that you... My can's here in shot. Uh, it should feel that you, you know, would rather avoid them. And just plowing them down in a car, then it becomes more like a zombie game, you know? I don't know. We'll see. Perhaps... Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, perhaps as time goes on, we could look at other forms of transport. But for us initially, that was our thought in not having vehicles because you just make all of this atmosphere and it becomes irrelevant when you can just plow past it or over it in a car. No respects right now, Nessa B, but that is definitely feedback I've been passing on to the dev team. Should it be retrieve instead of bring when you're getting stuff from the storage box? What l what language do you play in, Saw? Because that sounds to me like bad localization. Dantec would like to see zeroing on sniper rifles. Good feedback for sure. That would help... Um, that would help um, some of the confusion as well about some people that are saying, my, my round went straight through the machine. Well, that's because the rifle is zeroed at a different range. It's not, crosshair isn't the same distance at 5 meters as it is 500 meters. So, uh, but yeah, manual zeroing, for sure, that would be super handy. Any chance in the future hang greater than four players? We're quite happy with four in terms of um, sort of the gameplay feeling we feel. But then again, you know, you folks let us know. If you'd like to see more, we can definitely consider it. Uh, include quality of items for Plundrat, that would be super useful, Jake. Yes, that would make a lot of sense. A carryable mortar. Hmm. hmm. <laughs> well, we do like to blow stuff up. We do. We do. Well, unfortunately, I'm the only one being blown up today. <laughs> <laughs> you took some with you. A chance of thicker fog. Thing is, Nero, fog in a game, some people love it, some people hate it, so it's a real tricky it's one. Um, but look at it, it's pretty thick. It's if enough you look for at you this, to, uh, you know, not be able to get a good read on stuff, particularly in the woods and things. Yeah, it's a tricky one, that. Because it can be a bit frustrating if you just cannot see what's happening. Thoughts on putting experimental tappers weapons? Lots of thoughts, Dylan. Lots of thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> also, it would be great hearing yeah. Graham try to pronounce Ragnar Dunkerplot. That was what I was laughing at. And actually, you did it pretty good. I think I nailed it. Yeah, you did. Ragnar five out of five. Hate the fog, it's fine as is. Exactly. And that's the issue we have as game developers. Is some When you're making a game, you're going to find a lot of people really love something. And a lot of other people really hate something. And just 
kind of expand that with everything we do for a yeah. game and you see the challenge of making a like game. How do, you, <laughs> how do you find that balance? Yeah, you need to try and make as many people happy as you can all the time. Um, so it's, it's a tricky, tricky balance. Stronger storms with lightning striking machines. That would be amazing. You just like, you know, a small chance you see this massive lightning bolt hit a tank or something. Ooh. Ooh. All I'd of the mood. to see that. That would be amazing. Like shame to other machines, maybe, stuff like that, if they're close by. Blobear, says Benis. Blobear, indeed. Oh. My, my, uh, my dog discovered this season that that uh, the bushes have candy on them. <laughs> so funny. We we're, were walking him and he's like, we showed him, he's like, look at these. And uh, he was, after that, it's just like trying to pull him away from the bushes. <laughs> he's like, oh my God. <laughs> yep. Hmm, who's following me? You can't make everyone happy indeed, Spicard, but we know oh we no. try our best to make as many as we can. I mean, of course, there's always going to be a situation where game A is just not a good fit for a person, for example. Um, which you can't tend to do much about that, except for obviously make it clear before people buy it what the game's about and uh, what you'll be doing. Um, but for you folks who are here right now, of course, we'll listen to everything you say and deciding where we go. No blue bear, Lingon bear. Okay. Why are we talking about berries in chat now? I don't know. <laughs> it's tasty <laughs> and uh, kind of healthy. How did you come up with this game from The Hunter? Well, it was our game director and our current managing director were kind of... Uh, I think they were just hanging out one evening and they were talking about game ideas. And they're both Swedes. They both grew up in the 80s. And they thought, you know, how can we take these kind of uh, tracking stealthy mechanics and the beautiful world that we have from The Hunter and make it work in another game? And, of course, we had the mechanic side of that coming across with their inspiration of being Swedes growing up as kids in the 80s. And it kind of went from there. And I'm happy they did. Got one minute left, folks, and then I have to run up and make some social media posts for you all to read. Yeah, all right. Let's uh, open this up and see what's inside them. Is it Hjotron or Hjotron? Hjotron. 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 Yeah. Oh. Uh, oh, wow. <laughs> it was just hanging out. Yeah, he was the alien trapped inside, mm -hmm. according to that mission. All right, let's make it easy for me. Or, or fairly easy, I guess. We'll see about that. I need to find the right key first. I'm glad we didn't have 20 of his friends. Yes, he's only a prototype as well, so there they're we everywhere. Go. Nice! I guess that's a good good time to wrap it up then. What can you get? Nice first aid kit and some Magnus ammo. Sweet! Yeah, that's 100% more than I had. Uh, will there be a special event for when the new Terminator movie comes out? There hasn't been a Terminator movie since Terminator 2. Yeah, I totally agree. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, that'll wrap us up now, folks. Uh, keep an eye out on our Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and our Discord, and the forum, of course. I'll be making some posts there shortly. Yes. Mm. Well, thanks a lot, guys. Getting pinged. Yeah, well, that's for another day, I guess. Indeed. Yeah, stay out of trouble. Good job, Pondus. Good Nailed job, it. Graham. Nailed it. Yeah, we really did. Thanks, folks. Bye, guys. See you next time. Bye.